All right, let's talk about today's lead coding challenge question. Left the most column with uh, at least a one. Um, so it's a, it's an interactive problem, meaning that uh, we are given some API calls and API references, and we can uh, use that API calls to solve this problem. Uh, what we have here is a binary matrix. Uh, so the elements in this matrix are either zero or one, and it's um, the rows in the matrix are sorted in non-decreasing order. So it's a uh, zero 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 one 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 that kind of order. The rows in the matrix are also sorted. Uh, so uh, for each uh, row, when you compare that row with the next row, that's uh, to the uh, bottom of it, uh, the next row gonna have a uh, first uh, one uh, with a smaller, or equal or smaller uh, column number compared to the the, the 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 row that's to the top of it. So the only, the when you look at the, this uh, matrix here. Uh, when you consider the boundary that's separating the regions of zeros and the regions of ones, it almost look like a downstair, downstair, uh, downward staircases. And the question is asking us to return the leftmost column uh, with at least a, a single one in it. Uh, so it's um, it's asking us basically to walk from the top right uh, staircases with the value one here. Uh, trying to work down towards the uh, left button until we couldn't do that anymore. Uh, so we we terminate it either by uh, we're gonna hit the ground here or um, or we hit the wall here. So uh, that's pretty much how, when we terminate uh, when we work uh, from top right towards left button uh, bottom left. Uh, and we need to return that very last uh, uh, that very last uh, column number. If it does not exist, uh, which happens when there is uh, no staircase at all in it, uh, then obviously you couldn't stepping down. Then uh, we return minus one. Uh, the uh, so we have two API calls. Get x y is to return the zero and one values for that location, and get dimension is basically telling you the number of rows and number of columns. And uh, the submissions making more than uh, ten a thousand calls. Should be judged wrong. Uh, I guess that that that's relative to the problem size, right? What's the problem size? Um, it's a uh, hundred row and a hundred columns into the maximum, so that's uh, uh, ten to the fourth. But we are only allowed to do ten to the uh, th third, uh, which means that um, uh, we couldn't test every cell. So reconstructing the matrix is not going to be acceptable, uh, and. Um, uh, uh, here it's just a binary and this is a uh, decreasing okay so yeah the strategy is just uh, simulating like a staircase work from top right towards left bottom uh, once we uh, terminated it then we just returned the last cell last column where we uh, we, the, we lost the step on a stair uh, meaning the cell is one unit uh, that's that's pretty much it Quite, quite simple I guess the, the time time complexity will be just the number of rows plus number of columns that's the uh, you know the uh, the maximum that we will probably do. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, let's code this on. Uh, so it's uh, it's called uh, uh, n and m. Uh, uh, get dimension uh, for this object. Come on. And we're gonna do from top right. So the initial row is gonna be zero and the initial column is gonna be M minus one. And uh, why we uh, haven't uh, reached the ground or uh, hit the wall towards the left, uh, we should still try to go uh, stepping down. So that's a uh, row is greater than or less than N and uh, the column is greater than or equal to zero. Uh, we should uh, see whether we are on the on on the actual floor uh, staircase or not. Um, if we are stepping on a staircase, then the direction we want to go is towards the left, so that. Uh, uh, um, so that uh, we can uh, sequence, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
afterwards we can go in down. So we, we try to do left and uh, uh, down. That's the general direction. Um, yes, because uh, uh, if we are one, uh, we wanted to uh, test whether we can actually the the staircase is uh, extends more towards the left. We want to always capture that before we uh, going down. So it's uh, it's going to be left and down in that uh, uh, pri uh, priority. Uh, so we're going to do uh, row uh, column minus one. And, and and since this is a valid uh, uh, staircase, we're going to remember that this location as the last location. Um, this probably initial should be minus one. So that uh, uh, if we never really update this one, meaning that we never find an uh, actual stair, stair uh, then we, we should return this, which is uh, uh, what we need. Uh, in the case there is nothing, we return minus one. So that's, uh, that's here. Uh, the order should change. It. We should remember the last column, uh, last staircase column, and then decrement that to move uh, towards left. Uh, otherwise, we should just go down. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Let's try if it works. Um, okay. Let's try this example. How do I... This works. Uh, what about this? This case. Can I can I pipe two test cases together? Cool, we can actually do this. Yeah, I think it's okay. Let's submit this. All right, that that's a question for the day.